Good morning, YouTube. Happy Wednesday. It's hump day, and I hope everyone is having a great week so far. Um, I wanted to come on and talk about when you're withdrawing um, or you're going through detox, and you're at that point right to where you're about to give up um, and call and call the dope man or quit or whichever um that i mean i don't even i don't i don't honestly i don't even know how many times i'd hit that point and like i physically like i just i couldn't take it anymore like i was i was losing it um gosh just that uncomfortable feeling you feel like you have like you got to move your body but you're so tired and it hurts and you're achy and it's just like your your whole stomach is killing you and your skin's crawling and the cold chills and the yawns and oh just a side note does anyone ever when they were detoxing get the dope sneezes i swear i would sneeze like five or six times in a row and then a week later it'd be like four in a row and then another week later it'd be like three in a row but those dope sneezes are no joke. So if you're watching this, can you please comment and let me know if you went through it and what the reason is behind it. Um, like, is there a scientific thing behind the dope sneezes? Uh, but anyway, if you're going through it and it's, and it's really hard for you and you're at that point of breaking, what helped me was setting a goal to get to. So I'd be like, okay, Nick, you got to make it to dinner time. When you make it to dinner time, it's going to it's gonna be better. Um, and then I'd get to dinner time and I'd be like, okay, just make it, just make it to bed. Just make it to bed. I'd get to bed and I'd be like, okay, just make it to, make it to morning. And I would keep trying to set these, these little, uh, these little goals for myself. And it's really hard because your brain is just like, it just it knows the answer the answer is to get to get more drugs and you feel better but ultimately you have to go through this sooner or later so it's like you're just denying the inevitable every single time you relapse and it's like it just gets worse and worse and worse um you know the hot showers were a big thing i mean i sat in a hot shower i put a beach chair in the shower and I just sat there as hot as it could on me um, until I'd run out of hot water. This was in like the little, the, the program that I was in um, for the first 28 days. Talking to people, it helps so much. I mean, just telling someone that you feel like shit, you feel better telling them that. Like you feel better expressing it instead of just being stuck in your head because you start playing all these mind games. Um, man the showers, talking to people, trying to set goals, um, walking, like just getting out in the sun and walking, even though you feel like it's, there's like a weighted vest on you and you can't breathe. It's like getting outside and walking helps so much. Um, I know it sucks, but it's better than just laying in bed all day and you gotta do, you gotta do something. You have to like move your body into create and to get energy you have to create the energy you have to do something in order to get that energy like you can't just expect one day that you're just gonna feel great and ready to go to the gym it's like you're not gonna feel great you gotta actually go to the gym and suffer through it and get to the point where it's like yeah i can't wait to go to the gym um you gotta create the energy you know like uh an object in motion stays in motion. Well, it's like you gotta like get in the motion of doing it, even though it sucks. Um, and I think uh, lots of water, lots of water helped. Um, I would try to put like lemon in it, you know, think I'm, I'm gonna detox my body faster. It didn't really do anything, but the lemon tasted good. But I would just drink lots of water, you know, set goals for myself, try to walk, get in the sun. Um, and talk to people so anyway if you're going through it keep going you you can do it 
you you really can it's uh it's not impossible a lot of people have done it you just got to set your mind to it and stay strong talk to people go to meetings whatever the discord thing that Derek Lambert Lambert does um any type of social media or something where you can communicate with people and let them know you're having problems um it does help so that's it for the video um hope everyone has a great day and uh god bless and let me know if anyone knows knows what the dope sneezes are from and if you experience them anyway peace